What's up, ladies and gents? Sinister One, your host. Welcome back to more Hitman Patient Zero, the DLC campaign. This is finally going to be moving on to mission number two called the Arthur. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. Uh, I will be showing you all the challenges, but for this first video, we're going to be going through the story kind of way of doing this uh, and uh, hopefully a fun, unique way of killing both enemies. Silent Assassin suit only. Of course, so sit back, relax, watch the video, and then we'll go into the planning stages after this. Forty-seven, Diana here. Listen closely. We've got an emergency on our hands. I'll have to brief you en route. Improvisation is part of the craft. Go on. When we eliminated the targets in Bangkok, it appears we misjudged what the cult was capable of. I misjudged it. This should be interesting. Yes, well. I'm afraid eliminating Nabazov activated a ring of sleeper agents. My current theory is that the network signal spike in Bangkok was a go signal. Something automated. A kill switch? Who are the targets? So far, we've identified two cult members meeting in Sapienza to exchange a viral weapon. Something, and I quote, apocalyptic. The client asks us to eliminate them both and extract the weapon. Very well. Give me the details. Your first target is Craig Black, renowned author of the Cassandra Snow franchise. He's hosting a late night book reading in the Sapienza Church, a VIP event, invitation only. His publisher has spared no expense, so expect on-site security. The second target is Brother Akron. Intercepts indicate they will meet at the stroke of midnight to hand over the viral weapon. It is highly likely that Craig Black will leave Sapienza once he has the weapon. Plan accordingly. The client requires that you retrieve the weapon. Intel indicates it's small and easily moved, but be careful with it. The pickup team will be ready when you extract. I've uploaded the rest of the information. Let me know what you need, and I'll make sure it's ready when you arrive. All right, so let's go into the planning phase. What we're going to be bringing in, this is going to be the weapon that we're going to use to actually kill both targets. I wanted to do this fiber wire only, but uh, there's restrictions and limitations in order to be able to do it the way that I'm doing it, which requires us to bring in some different type of gear. So with that being said, we're going to bring in a lockpick so we can get into the church, and we're going to bring in the audio scrambler, just uh, remote audio distraction device. This device has a longer reach when you're trying to distract certain enemies. So those are the ones that you want to distract in order to be able to complete this the way that I do. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully this will be unique enough for you. And of course, after this, we'll have all the challenges and everything like that with videos coming uh, soon after. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoy and it's go time. Good evening, 47. Good evening, Diana, indeed. So, here we go. Lots of things to do. A little serenading going on there. Awesome stuff. We're going to be heading to the back of the church. We're going to be taking out Craig Black first. You can really do these in any order you want. However, I recommend taking out Craig Black first because it sets itself up a lot better. As Brother Akram or Akram will, will be there a lot longer than Craig Black will be, and he'll start. Craig will start moving around quicker than uh, the brother does. So get in here. If anything, there is a few deviations to this first section here that I will explain through. First up, grab your audio device. Throw them exactly where you see me throw them. Open the door. Use it. Wait a second. Make sure the door shut. You got to make sure the door shut because you got to come back through here. And sometimes the guy that's right outside the door will see you and then he'll come in. You don't want that to happen. This is the only guy that we have to actually knock out in this whole level. Everyone else we can sneak around. Now, depending on where you throw the next audio one is going to depend on who comes and actually gets it. Sorry, sometimes uh, it sticks to the wall instead of it does what I wanted to do. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you throw the audio device a little bit to the right. About right in here. Wait for it. Open. Let's pick it up at a different part. 
Wait for the door to shut. And you're good to go. So, the target himself is heading this way. If you throw it exactly where I did, the guy up there will never hear it, and he won't be the one that comes. If he does come, that means you weren't throwing it right enough to where it was out of his range and into this guy's range. That is Craig Black, well, about author, time, anyway. aspiring mass murderer. Kill confirmed. Craig Black has been eliminated. But if the guy from upstairs does come, just hide until he leaves and then do the same process. All right, good so far. Now, this one's a little bit more trickier. There's a civilian and two guards that you have to worry about. And we're going to try to do this without messing with either of them. So timing is very critical in this section here. Use your lockpick. Now, note where the civilian is. Just don't let her hear you do this. Grab your toy tank. Now, you're going to wait a few seconds here. So what you're looking for is, if you've been doing everything with the timing that I have, you need to wait about 35 seconds before you throw this, if you want to do this without knocking anyone out. There's two guards, one's going to be at that door and the other's going to be right there. You can always know by when she finally moves and gets into position, that's when about when you want to throw it. So right now's a good time. Huh. Command, we got a situation. So that's how you can tell. Look in there, and when you see her actually get settled where she's heading over there, that's when you want to throw it. Hello? Is anyone there? See how he turns around? And huh. you're free to sneak in. This is most likely the place. Brother Akram must be using this apartment as a base. He seems... dedicated. That is Brother Akram, your second target. He isn't particularly discreet. Oh, fuelless essence, thin and bare, well nigh melt. Brother Akram eliminated. Make sure you pick up the viral weapon. All objectives complete. Good work, for you. Switch over to your audio device. I'll have a team ready to take possession of the weaponized virus. Throw it against this wall. Do be careful. Shut the door. Switch over to your bust that you just picked up. Hello? Hello? Make sure it's not loaded on him. Hello? Answer me. And you're good to go. Congratulations, you have completed it. And you did it with only taking one extra person out. Again, I tried so many different ways to get him distracted enough to move in a different direction or whatnot or something, but unfortunately, I just couldn't get him out of the way enough to be able to take out just the target himself. So that is un unnecessarily, or a, a casualty there, but it's, it's, it's a knockout, so it is what it is. We'll figure something else out to do it, so. So we got suit only, silent assassin, no evidence, suit only. So we ended up getting a total of four challenges. And we did it in six minutes and three seconds. So for our first time around, it's not too bad. And it's the one that I consider to be my cannon. 
the one that I liked the most as far as um, the way everything was set up. And uh, the second portion took me a lot longer than the first one. The first one's um, pretty easy once you get in there to where he is. And there's so many different ways that you can manipulate the enemy AI in that first part. But the second one was a little tough because it made me really, really think, how am I going to get them separate enough at the specific right time to be able to move this guy to where this guy moves and they're both not looking in my direction when I get into the door. So you gotta think about that because you don't want to be seen by the brother. You don't want to be seen by the two guards when you're trying to make your way into that room as well. So it could be a challenge, but I think that you'll be able to, uh, to get it. So guys, leave a like if you appreciate the effort. And of course, let me know how you did it in the comments below. Next up, we're gonna have a bunch of videos showing all of the different challenges and stuff that you can do for completing this mission. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you all. Don't forget to become a patron if you want to help me to continue to do what it is that I do. Help me out in 2018. It would be very much appreciated. Love you guys. Link is in the description. Stay up to date on Twitter, and I will see you next time. Peace out.